Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So, uh, before I go on to this, uh, story quest over here, I just wanted to point out that I have done some of the Theater Mechanicus off-camera, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't like it. Uh, but I have gotten some done, I, and not a whole lot, but some. So I'm gonna claim these very fast, and then access the event shop, and claim these Primo Gems, as well as that. So now I can uh, at least make another couple wishes if I want to, which I will do right now. But yeah, I'm not really fond of this version of, uh, of Theater Mechanicus. It's definitely different, but it's not different enough to really warrant recording it. It, it, they made it so that you have to upgrade the equipment mid, uh, mid-match, and it's random what uh, upgrades you can find and stuff, and uh, I just don't like it. It's less fun to me. Anyways, let's start. Koichi, I'm here! How is the boat coming along? Yeah, it's, uh, all right, I guess. Um, I was questioned, though. Wait, wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Oh, don't worry, they're my friends. You can trust them. Thank you with me to check up on the boat. Yeah, you could say we're all in the same boat here. Uh, ha ha. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Because of the Sokoku Decree, the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to know what we plan on doing with it. It's a real nuisance. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying thank you. Right, I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Thank you. Oh, if it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. You won't find the slightest thing wrong with them. All right then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma tradition after all. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. About the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. That's a long story, actually. Where do I start? Oh, uh, oh. Maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, got caught up in the conversation there. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it for now and meet you back here later. <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. Ugh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Ugh, it's killing me. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction from him. And I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ugh, what I meant to say was... While Koichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some firework materials. I need to make fireworks not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. We're missing a lot of materials. If it's too much trouble, don't worry about us. It'll be fine. It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. When people want fireworks, it's always because they have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. So, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take their orders. So, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy the work? Oh, I do! I really do! Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom! And then seeing all the lights and colors and... Uh, uh, what I really wanted to say was, uh, don't worry about me. It'll all be fine. Uh, your main point got a bit buried in all the extra information. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? 
So, when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to say, I just have to get all out there in one go and leave no regrets. Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. Okay, then. Question! Doesn't it hurt your voice talking all the time? It can get uncomfortable, I guess. But what else would I be using my voice for? Huh. You kind of have a point. <laughs> Okay, so we're supposed to look for materials in this area. And I wonder what kind of materials. Okay, Morihiko. Hello, Morihiko. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoi Mia, there you are. I thought you might show up. Ha, ah, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. It'll definitely be enough. Huh? Really? How did you know? Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last minute materials. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? Oh, so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? Uh, hi, yes. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. Uh, once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows? He probably would have run away by now. Nah, he was never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just, he doesn't know how to express it. Maybe if you turn that frown upside down once in a while, he might feel more at ease. Yeah, I guess I'm probably too serious around him. Which is strange, because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. If you have any more trouble in the future, just come to me. What was up with Paimon? She, like, looked back there and then turned around and has this weird look on her face. Even if it's not fireworks related, I'll happily oblige. Customers come first. Always. And why is, uh, Aether looking at her all funny? <laughs> all right, then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. Your father must be very proud of you. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh, no, you don't. That's out of the question. Don't worry. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Uh, don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business rules here? I already said it's fine. Please, just take it. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. Um... Well, how about this, then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? All right, then. If you insist, pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. Okay. Everyone seems to really like you, Yoimiya. Seems like you'd happily do anything for anyone. You're not the first person to say that. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. When that happens, I say to them, Hey, this is a fireworks store. We do fireworks. But, ugh, they don't always listen. So, it can't be helped. But also, it's not really a big deal. Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Okay. And after I go meet whoever it is that's going to process them, I'm going to go ahead and do some of the side quests again. Uh, there we go. I think his name is Hajime. Hajime, Mr. Aminoma, it's me. Okay, yeah, it is. Ah, Yoimiya, if I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. No worry. Oh, oh, wait. Actually, uh, yeah, that could 
be a problem. Uh, some worries. How about this? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh, that will depend on my master. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. There's still a lot of fireworks left to make, if I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever, I see, dear child. The essence of Amenoma art is patience and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely! The Naganohara fireworks show is right around the corner. So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. Huh? Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? Is that so surprising? It is, after all, the only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. He doesn't really look like the type of person who would work, uh, you know, blacksmith. You're but... quite welcome. The Naga Nohara fireworks show is an important event. This, I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. But Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. <laughs> I'll try my best. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. <sighs> Though for you, dear child, no matter how much you prepare in advance, it may never be enough. Excuse me. I will be back shortly. Aminoma Togo wow. finishes processing the art. Just look at the shape and size of these grains. It's beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. So have Amenema Art and Naganohara Fireworks been working together for a long time already? Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. The people may have changed from one generation to another, but the ingredients required to make fireworks have remained the same. Hajime, in the future, this will be up to you. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, I won't bother you guys any longer. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. Okay, time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Okay. And where is that supposed to be at? All the way over there. Is there a teleporter near there? Not really, but if I teleport to this a little bit later, then I'll be able to get to it easily enough. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is this uh, sacrifi sacrificial offering quest. Continue the investigation at the abandoned shrine. According to Kazari, these barriers must be broken to cleanse this thunder sakura's roots. The next barrier seems to be located in the abandoned shrine to the northeast of Kanda village. Although the place sounds quite unsettled, is settling indeed, this is Kazari's request. So it is best that you see it done. Okay. No need to uh, hold back on getting this part of uh, this quest done. I'm sure that I'll be able to solve it pretty fast on my own, hopefully. I've had some side quests in the past uh, cause me some minor issues before where I had to look online to find the answer. Uh, I might be able to jump up this way. I want to avoid any fights if I can. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up getting into some fights on the way, but, you know, that can't be helped. Ah, come on. There we go. I got lucky. Okay. So, I'm supposed to continue the investigation at the shrine, which I assume is this right up here. I don't know if I accidentally uh, 
triggered this off camera or not. I might have accidentally triggered this quest off camera. Okay, that might actually be somewhere I need to go. Oz, reveal thy there we go. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. She was just bouncing all over the place there for a second. Oh, come on. That's not fair. By royal decree. I think I think she'll go down in a second here. In theory at least. Stabilize. There we go. Shine. Now let's solve this little uh, puzzle here. I think the idea is to get them all matched up. What in the world are they doing? I honestly don't know. I don't think that this is actually related to that. There we go. Match them all up at two. I don't know if matching them up at two is any different from, like if you match them up at three, you might've gotten a better chat. I don't know though. So this is weird. Uh, continue the investigation at the abandoned shrine, it says, but what am I supposed to do here, exactly? Could there be something over here? Oh. Mysterious shadow. Okay. Gone again. Oh, Paimon's getting spooked now. And there she is. Uh, well, now I'm wondering how she's going to appear over here. I feel like she's leading me to a trap. Hmm, seems like there's some pattern to her disappearances. We should observe carefully, and by we, Paimon needs you. Uh, a pattern to her disappearances? Then I have no idea. I'm gonna have to do this later because I can't understand this cryptic nonsense. Or maybe I'm supposed to do with something with this statue right here. A fox statue. Yep, it's the same as the one in Kanda Village. But Paimon doesn't see a word in it. Or has the word been hidden? Ugh. It seems that it's some troublesome secret again, isn't it? Uh... We're a pretty good combination. Hee hee hee, right? The village chief told us everything. Wait, there's some writing here. The word has been sealed within by sacred words. Hmm, what does that mean? There's some more writing here as well. Although I hope the seal will, for, uh, will never be broken, and although you have now been missing for many years, if the seal must be broken and the cleansing ritual conducted, I hope that you shall be the one to break it. The third line of the sacred words is something you often use to say in the past. Uh, is there anything else? Let's Paimon see. But if the one to undo the seal is my successor, then there is one extra step you must go through. There are four great spirits. The three spokes in the Mitsu Domo. I have three... I have placed three Shikigami here as guardians. Only when they are all gathered here in one place can you proceed. I wouldn't call this layer of security, is security all that useful, but it should still serve to fend off some petty thieves. Eh? What is it, Paimon? Then we have to find a solution. Otherwise, we'd be no better than petty thieves. Yeah, I'm gonna quit. 
Okay, time to go back to the story quest, sorry. That was a nice little temporary distra distraction, I suppose. But I'll have to look that up, unfortunately. That's just dumb. <sighs> Just as I thought, he isn't back yet. But not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. I'm sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all gone really smoothly. <laughs> <sighs> Feels like Paimon has barely spoken a word this whole trip. Uh, you seem to get along well with everyone. I felt like I was neglecting you guys, so I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You guys are travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Uh, Montset, the City of Freedom. Oh, sounds great! I heard they pretty much have no rules over there, right? So people are free to live their life however they want, doing whatever makes them happy. My pops actually received a gift from one of his old customers over there. It was from the winery or something. Don Winery! Their dandelion wine is super famous! Yes, that's the one! I remember when he drank it. <laughs> I've never seen him enjoy a bottle of wine so much in his life. He was telling me all night about how good it tasted. My friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? Uh, I'm looking for my lost sister. And we're looking for answers from the gods, too! You were separated from your family because of a god? Oh, that must be really tough. Uh, sometimes it is. I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. <sighs> You know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. Um, uh, let me put it this way. I was just worried that you might be getting weary. And if you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. <sighs> Sometimes. That's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. I'll bear that in mind. Don't worry, though. I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least leave with fond memories. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. I'll add it to my list of candidates. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. I'll keep it a secret for now, though. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh... Did you want to keep chatting a little longer? We just finished as it happens. Okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. If it can withstand the storms out on the ocean, it must be super sturdy. Right? Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality is guaranteed. Okay, then. Go confirm the ship's condition. I'll do just that. Yeah, it's a shame that I can do the other quest, but I'm not too upset by it. Just something I'll have to figure out off camera. That's way too small. Uh, via the internet. It is technically sturdy, though. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still. I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I gotta say, though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. 
<laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Uh-oh. Hyman feels really worried all of a sudden. Uh, doesn't helping Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> Maybe it does. But I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them. And whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us, too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me, either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out, too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait! Oh, oh no! Uh, <laughs> uh, we were chased by the Millilith in Leo A, too. Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the boat construction fees. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third Sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Now, in case you're wondering who Sakajiro is, he's the guy who was in the jail that uh, we went in to rescue. A while back during the Archon quest. So uh, that's who they are preparing this boat for. I just wanted to remind you in case you forgot somehow. All right, you know, because I actually forgot for a second. I was like, who's Sakajiro? And then I started thinking about it a little bit more and I was like, yeah, it must be him. Who's that sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends, but eventually they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. After that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah, no matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be chatting away like in the old days. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakajiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, I should get out of here, too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Okay, then. Okay, story time. So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the Trade Association to see me, they always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid or held me once as a baby or something. But there are so many of them in that friendship group, and I don't remember anything from that age anyway. So, I, uh, never have a clue who they are. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do! You held me once when I was just a baby! Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. It was so embarrassing. Okay. That was an interesting story, I suppose. Let's knock on the window. 
after this story event, I'm gonna stop. The boat is ready and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh... Oh, wait, this isn't Sakta. Oh, Sakta. Oh my goodness, I got them mixed up. This guy is Sakajira. Oh my goodness. Okay, so who was the guy that was in the jail? Because there was another guy in the jail. I thought that was him, but... Uh... Whatever. I was wrong. I apologize. I, I got everything mixed up. This is definitely not the same guy. This, uh, this is a guy who's been hiding out in their house, I guess. Um... You know, we, I think we saw him in the last video. I can't believe I already forgot about him. <sighs> After how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again. Especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, they make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me. But... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. That's why I left. But looking back on things now, I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Once I started to realize that, I got restless. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. So I... Ah, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. What a pity. Talk to us about it! Maybe we could... If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission? If only they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Oh, that's right! That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? They're quite high up as well. That's it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. All right. You should get back indoors, Sakajiro. We'll be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. This sounds Wait, like a bad idea. Hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish. Hot, hot. Oh, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. You and me have swiftly finished this writing, <laughs> writing this paper slip. Why did you cut Paimon off earlier? Because what he needs isn't an answer. Just time. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I don't know why I got the <laughs> two of them mixed up. I guess it's because I don't really remember the name of the other guy. I'm going to teleport over here now. But uh, it sounds like a bad idea to talk to these people that she wants us to talk to. But that's what we're doing, I guess. Okay. So... Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. That's a good way to shut them up, huh? I learned that a while back. Anyways... Thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I will continue the story quest, and hopefully I will have the answer to that one quest that I don't know uh, how to do. Um, so, yeah, thanks again. See you next time, and bye-bye.